hint, what are we doing? Headlights, as you can see, I've only got uh, two headlights when there's four, and it seems to be one of each that's working, one high and one low, so um, got some new ones. We're gonna put them in. So um, first thing we've got to do is take out the, take off the grill. So that's four screws along the top. <laughs> Continuity of the power supply helps. Anyway, still beats using a uh, regular screwdriver. Okay, I'm just gonna find a little container to put the screws in. That'll do. Now this can be a pain to get out because it's wedged in at the bottom, but not this time. So I'll put that in a safe spot somewhere over in the rest of my junk pile. And um, so. That's strange. Stick. Um, it's this headlight and this headlight is out. So they're the two that need to be replaced. First up, I think the screwdriver, uh, screwdriver attachment might be too big. i take these chrome trims off. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got to get a smaller screwdriver. Unfortunately, I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way because I don't have a smaller attachment for my drill. All right. Yada, yada, yada. So, tight. You don't want to lose these little ones. Might show you how to adjust them too if I can get into it. You didn't see my bold patch then, did you? Okay. We're in business. Oh, lucky it fell through. Um, Anyhow, you can see it's all cloudy, it's blown cloudy and black at the top there. So that one's bin for the bin. We'll get a new one. Before I Screw it all back in, I'll test to see if it works. Okay. Just let it dangle there for a second. Oh, look at that. Okay, stupid me, forgot to press record. I've already gone through this, but what you gotta do is you gotta, um, to adjust your headlights, you gotta pull up to a wall, or a piece of tin, or your Pontiac, or whatever you want, as long as it's a flat surface. If you don't have a Pontiac, I'd suggest tin. Um, 
the center of your light beam, you just you mark across. You can use either text or you don't want to permanently mark your wall. I'd suggest using a bit, a bit of uh, masking tape or something like that. So you, you mark the center of each light beam. Okay. And then you pull your car back a couple of meters. Well, 10 feet or something like that. Seven feet maybe, if you're American. Okay, as you can see, just turn my. No, no, it doesn't matter. Um, as you can see, my lights don't actually need adjusting because um, what happens if they're out of alignment? The center of the beam will either shift up or down or left or right. And all of mine stayed pretty central. This one here on my high beam light, that one raised a little bit, but it's only marginal. It's a high beam, so. Um, on, you're not going to have it on into oncoming traffic anyway, so that is perfectly acceptable. Um, I will right, just turn the lights off and I'll show you where the adjusters are on an old car like this. Right. Down here, you got a screw on the top, it's got a spring in the back, usually to force it in or out, well the spring's underneath actually I think, yeah the spring's underneath to keep the tension on it and this will just pull the top of the light in and out when you screw it in and out and that will in turn um, raise or lower the beam of your light and there's one on the side as well and that'll do your left and right so you can adjust your light beams with those. I'll show you on my Challenger, which is a 2015 model, on uh, where the adjusters are on most modern cars. So, yeah, that's it. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll whack the grill in, and then she's done. Heaps of videos planned coming up. I uh, just got to find the time to do it. So, um, I'll see you next time. Bye.